Hello and welcome to the third videos of this series. Today we will discuss about constraint model for growth as refined version from Malthusian model we discussed before. Malthusian growth model is a model that states as rate of change of the population is directly proportional to the number of individuals in the population. Thus could be written as this differential equation. In the previous video, we have proved that this differential equation have this exact analytical solution. In reality, it is almost impossible that a population grow without bound to infinity, as there are some limitations such as availability of food, shelter, or other resources needed to maintain individuals' life. We use a constant called carrying capacity M represent this constraint in our model. The main idea to constrain the growth is to use M to add dampening effect so the population will approach this value M over time. To use carrying capacity in our model, we assume that growth of population happened because of birth and death exactly as written in this equation. Birth happens as positive change in population growth, so we want it to be the same as previous model, R times P. That happens as negative change in population, and it works as dampening effect in the model. So we need to define the mathematical expression for this. To define the expression, Let's see the relation between our main variable P and carrying capacity M. If P is much smaller than M, there is still much room for growth, so we want the number of that is small, approximately zero. If P is roughly equal to M, there is no more room for growth, so the number of that is roughly equal to the number of birth. And if P is larger or equal to M, the number of death will be larger than the number of birth as the population will decrease until it equals to M. So the idea to represent the situation is to add the fraction P over M. Let's see what this fraction do in every situation. For the first situation, it will be approximately zero and for the second situation, it will be approximately 1. If P is larger or equal to M, the fraction will be more than 1. So the solution is use this expression to represent the number of that, R times P times P over M. So write down our equation again as r times p minus r times p over m times p and after simplifying this equation we get r times 1 minus p over m times p let's take a look to our model diagram before using this equation in our program so the diagram are quite similar to the malthusian model The difference is we add the carrying capacity as a variable that affect the growth. By the diagram, we will create a finite difference equation as foundation to our program. Similar to the last videos, we just recreate the differential equation and loop them over the population variable. So the population in iteration i plus 1 is the population in iteration i plus growth rate times 1 minus population i over carrying capacity times population in iteration i times delta t. Let's start writing this into our program. Okay, now let's start to write down our code. I have import the numpy and matplotlib package as usual and let's say we want to use the constraint growth model 
to simulate population growth in certain area with carrying capacity M is 10,000 for four months with initial population of 1,000 and growth rate of 2.4. First, let's initialize our variables. The simulation length is 4, as in 4 months, the growth rate is 2.4, we use the delta T is 0 0.001, and the carrying capacity is 10,000. The number of iteration is the simulation length divided by the delta T, and the population we define as an array in length of num per iteration. The first population or the initial population is 1000 and let's define x-axis variable to be used in the plot. So here are the main program that is an iteration. The growth is growth rate times population in the last iteration times 1 minus population in iteration i divided by carrying capacity and the population i in iteration i plus 1 is population in the iteration i plus growth times delta t. Let's run the variables and the program and let's start to make the plot. So here are the plot of the model. See that when the population is approaching 10,000, the growth is become smaller and the plot is become flatter. Let's say we want to see what happens if the initial population is larger than M. To do this, let's change the population at zero is let's say 11,000. Let's run this again and run the program and start to make the plot and see that the population decrease in the first 1.5 months and become flat in the number of the current capacity 10,000. That's all for now. Let's discuss further in comment sections if you are interested and it would be awesome if you would support this channel by clicking likes and subscribe button. See you in the next videos.